Uh, I am sorry. Apparently, there was some issue. Thank you to a streamer who noticed that it wasn't going live. And we are beginning the stream of Park Pirates versus the Simona Seawolves. And they will be playing up against Park Pirates with our roster lineup of Mia McCoy, Karen Bublik, Yvette Kimmichler, Tori Jensen, Caleb Kramer, and Colton Bushman, with, who will be six, Ventura, Grey Wolf, Sly McWilliams, Mac Rayner, and Poisonberry Seven. Things are good. with how we will be playing. And I am sorry about the delay. It did not click the first time. And we will be going into the game. In just a moment. As we will be getting up against for round two. With the Park Pirates versus the Simona Seawolves, as we are going into Lazing Control Tower. And we will be getting in just a few seconds. We will switch over to it. Now arriving at Yi Jung Tower. And it will be able to go with a five minute delay. And as we are beginning match. now, as we I will hand it over to one of our, our first shoutcaster. Hello, hello. It's uh, your shoutcaster for today, Trenton. <coughs> Our map today is Lijiang Tower. We're going to be watching heart players take on the Sea Wolves, I believe. Pretty standard team comp. Got a ball, a uh, diva. Oh man, that is glitching out. Diva on both sides. A little bit more of a rush the point kind of comp here for a park with the Lucio with the Tracer with the um, Steven Ball versus a slower comp for the Seawolves. They managed to use the teleport to get onto the comp tower to the point and seize it immediately. They start by the Pierce fighting, take on the king. And the ball falls off the map, that's huge loss for them, but they managed to return it with a push onto the Moria. He was just squaring off here with the Jenna and their supports. Uh, it's pretty even fight so far. No one's really uh, made any mistakes like the ball from earlier. And that's two picks. That's the Diva Mech and the, the Monkey going down, as well as the Reaper. Very nice stuff here from Park. Taking the point immediately and pushing back the Seagulls all the way. Uh, pretty far off the point. Some picks going down. Good stuff here. Donna just sitting back. Farming up some kills, some uh, ultimate charge, well, other things. There we go. Tracer has ultimate as well as a few other champions. So now they're waiting for the next push to come in here from uh, Sea Wolves. They're pushing through the choke point now, and they're really low. The Sea Wolves are. I, think, I do believe the Tracer bomb went down. No one picks off of it, but. They do manage to get some good damage. The Divas do mag, so they have to be very careful. That's the Lucio going down and keep them alive. But the monkey's on point, though, however. He's going to look like he's going to be uh, pushing them off. 3D, 3D here. Oh, the ball goes in. That's the 
Reaper ult going down. Doing big damage here. Park that looks to be a white. Except for the ball, that is, of course. Teams are gonna be resetting and squaring up here for the next round of uh, fighting in here. 57% uh, point charge here for uh, Park. They're gonna be using the teleport strat again, and they are moving directly onto the flank here of the sea wolves. Big, big somber ult here. He's gonna be shutting down all the ways on Park, Park side. They're gonna have to rethink their strategy here as they get wiped once more, except for Swine Sly McWilliams. He's looking to get the somber here, but she goes invisible and he cannot catch it. As well to Ball doing what they can to just stay on the point and disrupt the sea wolves here. That's the tracer going down as well, unfortunate. So now Park has to rethink their strategy. I don't believe they can go back in with the um, with the teleport because it looks like the sea wolves are ready for it and they managed to respond to it very quickly last time around. What will they be doing? They're going to be moving around the left side. No, they're going to be using the teleport again, however. Um, the Diva is ready. That's going to be. Yep, there's the one goes down. And be doing some good damage. Two kills. And a third kick by the Hunter. Good stuff. That's going to be the Diva on the Seabull D Mech. And short eight kills. It looks like they are managing to capture the point. Doing very good stuff here. Um, Really made some changes from last week. Uh, to the the new enemy mission ult card, which is going to be down, and that is going to be. And there's three minutes of card dropping. The captain is going to be there, and then he's going to be able to get it. That's two picks, though, here for uh, part. But unfortunately, they still have the numbers on it. Pulling back, they're going to be reevaluating this push. They have to move fast, though, because 94% uh, in loading here for the Sea Wolves. It's contested, however. 98%. Can they stay on? It's going into overtime. It's going to be a very good trade. That's going to be all oh, the Sombra ult going down again, however. They do have a diva on point. She has no support, really, though. It's going to be very hard for her to stay on much longer. It's going to be the ball there as well, helping her out. They're doing what they can. Ball is just staying alive. He's doing what he can to um, keep the point alive for as long as possible. They're just rushing in now. They used the Lucian ult, but it's really with only two or three members on, it's not really doing too much. It's going to be hacked by the Sombra, and uh, it's part of course we're going to lose the map. It's going to be one for the Sea Wolves. Very good stuff from both teams. You really. We would like to see the implementation of an enemy strategy from uh, Park. Uh, they unfortunately Ready lost a map pretty much exactly the same Let's using uh, the a teleporter into the back. And uh, they quickly lost a point. So good to see them taking Let's up using enemy strategy. Done. It seems they're going to be going with more I've traditional uh, comp. Man. More of a front to back with the Reinhardt, with the Zyra. Or the, sorry, uh, Zarya. With the Ash and the... Five. Soldier providing Three, the damage. Two, the Lucio one, here to uh, speed them up and two, get them into the point very quickly. On the other side, the Sea Wolves are using the um, using Azuera Zarya. Although they're using more uh, damage focused comp, and they very use, very much use it quickly to uh, take out two members of a uh, part. So they're using immortality for the pushing here and push Park back quickly. Not what you like to see at all. Park is gonna have to rethink their attack here. The objective is now active. Whether they go up the left side or they go keep going down the middle. The point has been captured with the Sea Wolves, and now they're just holding Park at the spawn. Park really can't do too much in here. And then there's almost the Ryan charge uh, on the side of them, the Sea Wolves. And that's gonna be the May Wall, and they trapped it. The Reinhardt for Park on the other side of it, and they managed to cut it down quickly. So now they don't have to really a primary tank here. Or like that. That's the immortality for going down. Oh man, right as he was about to use the Reinhardt ult, he was slept. Very good sleep here up from six. But unfortunately, it's, uh, it's looking to be a little too little too late. That's the Reinhardt ult charged for the enemy, I think. No, it's only at 14%, my bad. Rethinking their strategy, where they want to go up the middle, want to take the high ground, 
It seems that Seawolves has backed off a little, but that's still very much obvious that they're looking to use the same strategy again. They have the, the teleport, and unfortunately, they were booted off the edge by the Lucio, who's doing a little work. Slept, though, and that's going to be six going for it, but unfortunately, he's in the back line at all, so you can't really do too much here. Of course, they back off and stun and uh, it just drops. Uh, actually gets one kill, but yeah, drops to the uh, Reinhardt. Jason Barry here alone has the Reinhardt open, looking to use it, but gets Zarya, it's solo Zarya open. Missed, the Reinhardt missed his uh, charge. Unfortunately, looks like they're going to be dropping here. Everybody else is moving in to um, try and do something. They haven't even got to the point once. 78, 79. And rising is not looking good here for Park. They do have the Lucia ult, they do have the Reinhardt ult, and they do have the Maze ult. So they do have some options. Unfortunately, the Zarya drops as they use it, but they do get a very good combo here. A few members, but unfortunately, it was countered very quickly by the team. Get in there. Back on. Get in and the map goes Victory. to Soma State University. AKA the Seawolves. Really good stuff May from uh, the Seawolves here. The May doing a lot of work. That is going to be game one of uh, a possible three. We'll have to see what they bring out next map uh, to counter uh, the Seawolves strategies. Hello, this is the second shoutcaster Simon. Simon, last week I didn't do too much. I didn't talk too much, but this week I come can bring more content. It looks like like the second map that we're going is Hanamura. Traveling to Hanamura. Let's see what Park is going to bring for this round against State Samo Sanamoa State University. And it looks like that. Ready for battle. Ready to roll. Hello. All right. So looks like we got Park University playing. A chance to focus. Fully here. One. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. My teleporter is online. I have located the Sorry about that, I had a little mix up in the names. So it looks like like for Samoa State University we got. We got Reinhardt Zarya May. McCree, Lucio, and Baptiste. And it looks like they already got two picks on parts. Oh, make that three, four. Looks like team's gone down. Park University. 
is going in with Ash, Zenyatta, Arissa, Baptiste, Sigma, and Junkrat. So it looks like that there. They need to find a way to get through that choke. Choke, they have a shield to at least go. And Ash goes up for the high ground. Now see if she can get a pick or two. They have the double shield, so they'll be able to manage to get up close there. Here, let's see if they can get any picks from, uh, from a state team. And it looks like, yes, they did. They get a pick on the three. Ryan charges in, but and it looks like they try to go punish. And the anti-death field from Baptiste goes up. And it looks like Arissa takes some damage. Shatter from the Reinhardt. And uh, it is a brawl up in here, and it looks like that, that park is ahead on members, and they've advanced to the point. Working right now, they have made it onto the objective. They are now moving, advancing over to objective B. And it looks like the comps are staying the same. Six gets a pick onto May. May, that's a good pick right there as they push up to the through the right side. Side McCree, the enemy McCree is trying to flank him. And it looks like they are stuck, stuck in there. They're waiting for the walk. Both uh, Baptiste ults are down. Ryan tried charging them from behind. And it looks like... It looks like he got a pick right on the... Junk Rat. But Bob is up again and goes and takes out one. Zarya is down, but... Then McCree's ult takes down the Orisa. And down goes the Ash by a Fire Strike. It looks like that they continue to hold the point. <laughs> so it looks like right now they're all looking to watch the fan right side. Park is advancing through the right side again. Again, this time with four ults up. Each side has four ults. Let's see how well they can use the, each of them. Is, ooh, Reinhardt gets a triple on three of them. And Zen trying to trying to salvage with his with his ult. Gets a discord off, but ultimately goes down to the Reinhardt. Right now, my ultimate is charging. The Mon State University is holding holding its own against against Park. <laughs> right now, they seem to be pulling a tight defense. Defense, but can Park break break, break break through? Right now, there's three ults on on blue side to Reds three also with three ults up. We got May, Lucio, and Baptiste. On red, we got Arissa's. Sigs and junk rats. And they make they go run they run straight down the middle and go right onto the point. Point. Ults are being used wall. And it looks like that State University holds off on their own and takes down Park. Now that was quite the advance from them going straight down the middle middle when they were previously going to the right. Let's see what they will be trying to do now. Soldier 76, reporting for duty. Eva online. This is gonna make you feel better. Lucio's just fire, firing in. Let's hustle. Currently, Easy. ooh, gets, he gets stunned. Oh, there's a pick on the McCree there. With the DPS down, they should be able to move up. Right now, they're causing some disrupt. Lucio's in, in causing some disruption, but Reinhardt gets a 
Shatter off. And two park, park members go down. Down. They are out mech. That's three. Four. I'm just getting started. Four kills to Sonoma State University. With one minute left on the clock. Park is gonna to have to try try something in order to get in. They state Sonomoa State University has been holding holding a really tight defense on this point. Point with a few times that Park has gone through, but they managed to hold their own own for the entire time. Kind of looks like they're getting in now. May holds herself. Eva goes in on the McCree, takes him out, out with the Reinhardt two picks, two picks. Make that three. May takes down Ash. Diva's now on the point. Ball, ball is also rolling, trying to get a pip, but ultimately, the ball goes down. And once again, Santa Mosa State no University way. holds their own. Now, they they use quite a bit. Round and round one is complete. One point over to Park and this one. Score. Zero Let's see how one. well their defense is, is. If they're going to be able to keep them on the first point. Initiating match. Or if uh, State University is going to be able to push right on through, we'll have to see in coming up in 15 seconds. I wonder what comps are they going to pull out th this round. Ready for battle. Come on, let's bring it together. And it looks like we have double shield coming from from blue side with Reinhardt Arissa and they have Sim Genji, Lucio and Baptiste. Now the Sim for attack is gonna be able to be able to teleport right there onto point. Point, let's see if they if they're gonna be able to pull that off. And red side side for park we have Ash Zen. Reinhardt, Moira, Sig, and Junkrat. And now we'll be able... To... Looks like with that, they'll be able to get some spicy picks. And looks like they're holding fairly back. Back. And looks like... Like State University is pushing straight, straight forward. Ash jumps up, tries to get a pick. And it's simmed... Sim teleporter that goes down, down, but then gets hit, hit, followed by by Sig and Ash. That's he's taking down. Down, and that was a swift attack on from Thermo State University as they take the first point. Now Park's going to have to spend this time to hold off off the second point. And it looks like there was a switch from Ash over to ha Hanzo. Right now, now they may, they teleport they, onto second point. Point as the brawl goes out, it looks like that they take down two members of Park. One member of Samo State goes down. Down. As another one goes down. It looks like Park. And it looks like they take the point, which they take game two. As they... Sonoma State University takes down Park. So right now... Thermo State University hold, holds up 2-0 against Park. They're going to have... Can they reverse sweep? That is a possibility. We're going to have to see right here in Game 3, which will be coming up pretty soon. If I do say so myself.
Arriving at Watchpoint, Gibraltar. Initiating match. Ready for battle. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Nothing's gonna stop me. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. <laughs> Stop the payload. I'm gonna shoot you down. This is my turn. <laughs> So again, the uh, team's going back at it. That's going to be two, three quick kills picked up for the Sea Wolves here. And you have to see. Oh man, that's going to be team white here from the Sea Wolves. Unfortunate. Not what you like to see at all. And I'm, I'm sorry if the uh, mic unfortunately wasn't picking up anything of what I said in the <laughs> previous part of the round. I was unaware it was not on. Barrier activated. 
to the park as he's here, going pushing back into the high ground. Fighting back and forth, wasting ultimate on the other side, wasting ability, wasting the kill, wasting the ability. That's going to be the Genji in the back line, though. Unfortunately, a big Hanzo ult over the top using the Genji Dragon Blade as a distraction. And that is going to be three kick kills picked up one. That's going to be another going down. And that is going to be Park with the drop here completely pushed back all the way into the spawn, and it is very unfortunate here. We're just waiting to see what they do. They have the Genji in the back line. He's waiting to see who can snipe out as he uh, comes in. He unfortunately misses his first shoot. And he uh, just dashes out to safety. Let's get out of there very quickly. They're going to send two or three members up there after him. Uh, just to chase down this Genji and get rid of him quickly. And they do that using Sly with no one's good shot there. Unfortunately, the control is going to take his drop. He's used to the Lucio instead to save the life. It's going to be a massive Zarya ult going down. And the Hanzo from up top is free firing in a park here. Not good, not good at all. And unfortunately, it's going to be three members. They have a minute, uh, two, about two minutes left here uh, to see what they can do. And it is unfortunate. They are pushed back to the spawn yet again. And that is the Reinhardt picking up the last kill for the team while they wait and reset. Get abilities back up, get utility back up, and um, set up here again. Skinji looks to be using his uh, maneuverability to ambush here, as you should. Gets found out by Sly McWilliams here. He's trying to snipe him out here. That's the Baptiste up top with the Reinhardt, while the Soldier and the Hanzo are down below. Thankfully, the Hanzo can quickly reposition to uh, help his team out. He can Poison Berry here. She does. She has to throw Shatter up, but she's the only one with ult so far. They're gonna have to very easily they move on to the Sigma. I didn't highlight it earlier, but they moved on to the Sigma here from Zarya. Pretty sure it's a recent switch. They're gonna be using that uh very to, um, good effect here, hopefully. And yeah, good switch, good stuff. They uh, take out the uh Genji. But unfortunately, two drop, three drop. But it's a train train kills back and forth here. That's gonna be those shadow going down. Unfortunately. Poison Mary drops here, but the rest of her team is doing very, very well. The side of the park, they are just pushing them back, and they are managing to get the point move, uh, the point moving again. Good stuff here. The park, they're going to be moving in, uh, seeing if slot, uh, Sea Wolves can um, rally here and get a cohesive defense set up. It doesn't lot, really look like it so far. Uh, it's going to be the bad piece. Going down and uh, she's she 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 See, they keep contesting it using the uh, Diva, Moria, the ball. So good stuff here from Park to keep it alive, but they're gonna have to start getting some picks. Unfortunately, they're the only one getting picked right now. That's not what you want to see if you want to win this game. But they are managing to hold the point. It's gonna be the Zarya ult going down to catch the ball, and unfortunately, the time is complete, and that is going to be round one for the Sea Wolves. 53.82 meters for Park. That is what they have to hold the point to Score. for a little bit now. Zero to one. Switching sides. Initiating match. Now, Park is going to be on defense here. We're gonna have to see what they do to um what they do to hold the point. Will they hold the will they uh, prioritize the high ground here on this first choke point, or will they quick go for the high ground it's like um. Sea Wolves did and prioritize uh, fighting more closer to the uh, airship hangar. We're gonna have to see what they bring out to do so. Ready for battle. Gonna bring out yeah more standard holding comp. They're gonna be using the junk rat to deny area, along with the uh, sigma, and they're gonna be using the Baptiste to keep people alive, along with the mercy, and then follow that up with Attackers the ash over the top to um, provide some AOE denial as well. And some very good damage with her uh, DMR. And it's, on the other side, they have uh, Winston, a Diva, a Tracer, uh, a Genji, and one unknown. We're going to have to see what they're going to pick here. Maybe the Brigitte. The Brigitte is picked and locked in here. They're using the Ana to get some quick sight lines already going uh, on the side of Park. And they are going to be taking the high ground very quickly. 
and they're gonna see what um, Puck is made of. So that's the Genji looking in, scouting for the team. No changes in the response to Park. That's gonna be Winston. That's very good for the Winston bubble. Shooting the team. That is gonna be the immortality for going down as well for Park. They're not afraid of death. They're a lot of damage. They're going to have to be careful. They're taking the high ground here to see what they're using that to their advantage. They're going to push back Park. They're going to take out the Baptiste first. And as such, Park will have to probably drop back here. Uh, can't really do too much back to support. And that is going to be the mercy drop as well. Not good stuff here at all for Park. They're going to have to drop it back even further. They don't want to drop back too far, however. Too much. Unfortunately, though, they do drop. And that's going to be a complete and quick team wipe for the side of Sea Wolves. Um, they don't have too much further to go until the map will end and they will take home a game here of a park. We're going to have to see what Park does. Unfortunately, Winston's already into the background, threatening that Mercy and the Baptiste, keeping them separated from the rest of the team. And that is not what you want to see from Park that's not good at all. The Diva's there helping them, so the other two. Uh, or the, rather the rest of the team is dealing with the uh, tanks alone. The D.Va does go down, the mech power uh, does go down. Good stuff here, uh, they can definitely kill the D.Mech D.Va. But this monkey is really just causing issues, and he's gonna go uh, berserk and start knocking the players around, keeping them away from the point. Not that much of a deep for the park, that's going to be just dropping the junk rat and the Sigma. And this, this monkey is really just keeping on top of the Mercy. Finally gets her. The mortality feel going down. Uh, it's dropping very quickly though. Baptiste will come down. Oh, just does drop to uh, Poison Mary, but unfortunately she drops as well. The Mercy is going to be trying to rush back to the point as quickly as she possibly can. He's going to be popping the ult to Mufasi. The Baptiste is going to be 2v1, but he unfortunately drops as well. The, the ball is just on the point, spinning as best he can. Unfortunately, it's full of cancer against the world. Drops explodes. The Baptiste field going down, drops quickly, and Baptiste looks to follow as well. That monkey is really doing work here, just absolutely shredding Park's team. The Junkrat's going down, he's going to be trying to do his best here to um, nice some area, but unfortunately just drops to the Ana. Monkey's going in, clearing the point two meters to go, they only have so much further to go. See, we're very, very close here. That's going to be the bridge, clearing the point, and unfortunately, Park is going to drop. The last map here. Very close to both teams. You really like to see it, but unfortunately, Park does drop. Play and of it the will game. be the 3 0 for the Seagulls. Hello there. This is Wade Tripp, Overwatch coach, and I want to apologize for the technical issues. We are sorry that you didn't hear all of our wonderful commentary by our great Park students. We really appreciate you tuning in <coughs> and hope everyone has a safe spring break. As we end the stream, I want to thank everyone from coming for coming and Monday, March 15th at 6 o'clock, barring any changes. We will be doing another game at the regular at the standard time, but Park tries to accommodate and will alter to meet the needs of the other team as we try our best to give you and show you the best that Park can do. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And if you've got and please be sure to follow us and. Have a wonderful and safe spring break. Thank you very much to our wonderful Southcasters for all the work they do. And good luck, Perk, for the next game. Take care and thank you very much for watching. And we appreciate it.